what's going on welcome to my channel what's up you guys welcome to my channel t girl magic tarot yeah yeah here to do a reading for my chick chick gemini my lovely gemini's and my beautiful collective what's happening y'all oh, okay anyway um, thank you for all your love, your likes, your shares, your kind words, your donations, subscribes, emails, a confirmation, and just nice just to reach out and say, hey, I love you guys. Sending all the love and light and healing energy. My mind's running a thousand miles right now because I'm getting so many downloads. But anyway, um, for those of you who have booked readings, I will have those in the order that was received from the time I sent, received the Cash App and or PayPal there is a 48 to 72 hour delivery time. So if you say, for instance, you booked one with me yesterday, um, which was Friday, you would receive it latest by Monday or before. Okay? So I'm working on all those. Anywho, um, this general message is not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody, baby. We don't know. Take the energy that resonates. If it should happen to resonate and leave the rest, don't ever force anything to fit okay it's okay it's okay so anyway what else was i gonna say choir come to the front <laughs> one two three oh tigro tigro magic and collective tigro 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 magic and collective tigro tigro magic and collective come check us out and see what we're about Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay, Gemini! Hi, my cross watcher. I know I added a clap at the end. I'm here to do different variations, but anywho, I feel a little bit of frustration, Gemini. Okay, I feel a little bit of anxiety, a little butterfly energy. I'm hearing some R.I.P. to Michael Jackson, but I'm hearing you give me butterflies inside, inside, and not all you got. To do is not answer my call when I'm trying to get through. He, oh, somebody look. Okay, so what I'm getting right now, there's a Gemini, an air sign, could be an Aquarius, but it's heavily Gemini with the Nine of Swords is in their head over a Libra energy. Okay, the Gemini, I don't know, take the energy how it goes, but. Some Libra is getting justice or this Gemini is going through their mind. Because there's several things going on, y'all, right now. In love, in regular life, somebody's going through a... Okay, I don't know. I'm getting confused because there's too much. This could be one person or a couple of people. Take wherever you go. I'm just going to say how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel for you, baby. That's how much. That's how so okay this could be your soulmate your twin flame whoever it is gemini okay i feel there's a separation there's some stagnancy between you two or this the situation but whoever the air sign is and there's two air signs so it could be two air signs there's a gemini in their head over either a legal issue and the gemini's feeling backstabbed and betrayed over a libra or the Gemini's in their head over a Libra because they backstabbed and betrayed this Libra who was their two of cups. And now they're in the hangman energy. This Gemini energy wants to reconcile or somebody, okay? It doesn't have to be a Gemini, but this is a Gemini reading. But take the energy however it goes. This person who is in the Nine of Swords who backstabbed and betrayed a Libra, they want to reconcile with the Libra. Or they was they they in their head over a third party interference. Okay, they cheated on the Libra. Something happened. And now this person is stuck. Oh damn, Gina, something ended with the death. So, and then this Libra went through a rebirth, or this Libra has Scorpio in their chart, or either Pisces, or this is a Pisces with I don't know, babies. Just take it out. Whatever. 
but the uh the I said earth angel. Okay, the earth angel who is this justice. Oh, so okay, this is a situation where somebody got with somebody that didn't realize that they were their twin flame. Somebody overdid something where they backstabbed and betrayed because we have the Ten of Swords here. And it says, bottoming out, trouble is on the way. Thinking like a victim or a martyr will keep your life in a downward spiral. Plans and, plans and projects are in jeopardy. Your home life may be disrupted. Any area in your life is open to conflict. No matter how powerful you what does it say? I can't see that. Maybe I need glasses. And you are in trouble and trouble will find you. I think it says and safe. No matter how powerful and safe you are, trouble will find you. So this Gemini air sign is in trouble. Oh, they probably got a legal issue going on. Damn, and somebody needs somebody help. Okay. So the justice is what is this spirit? A card of personality, integrity, and fairness. Take responsibility for your own actions. Every action you take will have an effect. Be decisive. Move forward. Contracts and agreements and legal dispute are resolved in your favor. If you have been wronged in injustice, wait, well, sorry. If you have been wronged, justice is assured. So whoever this Libra is, they didn't receive some type of justice or this Libra could be in the legal child. Look, there's millions and thousands of y'all. Okay, so... Well, I'm saying millions and thousands. Anyway, was it's that. Because for some of you guys, you are this Gemini that's in a legal issue right now. And you backstabbed and betrayed your two of cups. Okay, you now you want to reconcile with this Libra. Oh, but the Libra do not want to reconcile with your ass. And you sad about it? Yes, because they see who you are or something like that. They balanced out their life or the judgment went in their favor. And now the Gemini all in their head about this two of cups. So, Gemini, this is a lower vibrational energy, okay? They could have Scorpio and Pisces in their chart, but um, you're going through some type of re rebirth. Yeah, you're stuck and stagnated because of the betrayal and backstab that you did to this Libra or whatever, uh, tw twin flame, soulmate journey. Now you want to travel back to the Libra, which y'all ain't talking right now, okay? It says problems unfavorable judgment in a lawsuit, unwanted marriage proposals, overwhelmed in by crisis, you feel unable to cope with day-to-day -day problems. Dealing with the aftermath of the problems is draining your energy. In the future, you will be better than the present. Things will continually work out. Travel or journey uh, possibly by water. So some of you guys are going to, this person could live at a distance from you guys. Whoever's in trouble and imbalance and stuff, they're all in their emotions. Yes, honey. Oh my God. They holding on to you and you are a third party in this person's energy. Okay. So this person is going through some unfavorable outcomes in their life. They possibly are in a lawsuit right now. When I saw that Libra card, somebody's going to want to propose to you. Okay, Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher. I feel like it's a masculine energy that wants to kidnap you or take you away or hold you hostage or they want to take you and a child away by boat or something like that. I don't know. They want to don't spirits tell me don't go on don't go nowhere with this person because they cray cray. Okay, don't go nowhere. Don't do no collaborations with this person because once you do go travel towards this person, they gon' they gon' like lock you up. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, lock you up. So money will hold on to you and you're going to, your child, somebody possibly going, mm -mm, don't do it, Gemini. High vibe cross watcher. Whoever's in the high vibe energy, baby, don't go with them. Okay. They're going to try to hold on to you or lock you up or they're going to try to get you stranded somewhere and leave you out in the cold. Mm -mm, don't do it. And now somebody's thinking about how to, look, they ain't no good. They are no good, and they're in poverty, too. So whoever this energy is, is in some type of poverty or lack. Things are not going in their favor. They need some type of payout or handout. They want to come to you like they want to invest inside. It. Inside, I said they don't want to come lay with you. Okay, no, don't lay with this mug at all. They trying to plant some seeds in you. Okay, if this is a masculine energy, 
he's trying to plant some seeds in you. And if this is a feminine energy, this, this feminine energy is trying to get you to knock her up. Okay? Yeah, they're deceptive. This person is a habitual liar. They can't tell the truth to save their life. Yeah, they take risks. Okay, so what is this though? You are unpredictable, open, spontaneous, and adventurous. Yes, you are, Gemini, high vibe. You're a free spirit. You're a dreamer. But somebody's unpredictable. Whoever this energy is, and I'm telling you not to go on no trips with you or don't travel with them, they are unpredictable at this very moment, okay? There's some things going on in their life that they're going through a lot of legal issues and things like that, possibly health, money, everything's going downhill for this person, you're sitting here in the Six of Pentacles energy. Your investments are working out. You're getting an equal give and take in whatever you invest in, your projects, okay? Um, yeah, you got financial success coming on you. That's or either you're developing financial success or you're just on the brink of your... Yeah, you're, you're taking a leap of faith on some new things going on in your life. So you got it going on, Gemini. You're moving forward and somebody is stuck and stagnated. Yeah, they're slow and they want to come in and make some type of offer. So why are they trying to do this to bring balance to their life? Who is this to Gemini Holy Spirit? I, 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 did, I did say a twin. A twin. Um, This could be a family member for some of you guys. Somebody you have kids with. Somebody that wants to have kids. Okay, somebody want to get you pregnant, Gemini, and take you away and lock you up. They've been drinking a lot. I don't know if they've been... Oh, Lord, they're trying to get a new beginning with you, Gemini. Or you're trying to get a new beginning with somebody else, okay? But whoever you're trying to get a um, new beginning with, maybe you're looking for them. Yeah, you're looking for them. Or they're looking for you. But I don't feel like the high vibe looking for this low vibe energy. I feel like whoever the low vibe energy is looking for Gemini high vibe cross watcher. Whoever that zodiac sign is, okay? And you can't find them. Mm, well, yeah, yeah, you try to look for their home. Because you don't have one, possibly. Yeah, you got a lot of conflict. And you want to come to somebody's house to start a fight or start some conflict and chaos? Yeah, because they're moving forward. And they're leaving you behind. So Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watcher, somebody feel left out in your energy. They really do. Okay, this is somebody who you was offering. I'm hearing you offered them something, but they rejected you because they were being smug, all in their ego. Okay, they didn't take you seriously. So you went down another direction and you got a new beginning. And so now this person is looking back at your new beginning and they feel left like they feel, they feel like the wounded warrior because you're like, how did that's the truth? How does Gemini feel about whoever's sad and wanting to come back and that? You know, who, how does Gemini High Vibe Crosswatcher feel about this energy? Gemini, what do you feel? Ooh, Gemini, you feel like they they too much. It's a no for you with this Five of Wands. This person is too confrontational, too, com much, too much conflict, too much chaos. It says, caution, you may have to resort to underhanded methods to get a projected push through. Competition, greed, lust, and power. Obstacles, secret opposition to your plans. So this person's always, they're trying to throw a monkey wrench in your plans. They were working with other people to stop you and keep you in balance and to leave you out in the cold. So I'm also getting this person either work with one of their family members or they were paid by one of your family members or somebody was in competition with a family member or a family somebody was in competition with somebody period okay and they were greedy and lustful so i don't know if this energy this two of cups energy slept with one of your family members for some of you guys and come to find out that family member had a whole nother family somewhere else this is messy yeah and that shit ended so because it ended over there because this person was being sneaky and deceptive with the seven of swords energy and they got left out in the cold because they went to go start their other family. So it seems like somebody was jealous of you, Gemini, or jealous of a family member, or somebody's family member was jealous of somebody, slept with your, or got with your two of cups energy to, to disrupt that shit, to cause imbalances in that. And now, they, so what the fuck, spirit? And that's over. That ended between them. Okay. Um, the lovers, Gemini. So I guess this could be a Gemini, the lower vibrational Gemini. 
that Gemini, now look at you, okay? So I don't know. This is a high vibe. I don't understand. This ain't my babies for real. Oh, over this queen of, queen of uh, pentacles. Oh, Gemini, you in your head because it ended with this queen of pentacles. I don't know. Maybe they thought, you thought, I, was the queen of pentacles pregnant? Or you thought you was going to be the king of pentacles through this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy? And you thought you was going to move forward? But then the Capricorn held back to go towards a King of Wands energy. That's the truth with this Ace of Swords. And they ghosted your ass. And so now the wheel is turned. And now shit slowed down for you. And now you on your head or something like that. Or you're going through a legal issue. It's either one of those. Just take it where you fit in, okay? But somebody done fucked over somebody, period. This Queen of Pentacles did. Or this mother figure did. Or this auntie did. Or whoever. And they got married. They got married. Okay? And so they had you in a third-party situation as you tried to have your partner and your whoever your soulmate was, you had them in a third-party situation. But you thought you was going to be able to move forward with this Queen of Pentacles. And then for some of you... Oh, but this Queen of Pentacles held back and moved forward with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries energy. And ghosted your ass. <laughs> That's not funny. And now you single or whoever. They, uh, and now you in your head because whoever your two of cups is or whoever you want to go back to. They self-sufficient, independent, single, and abundant, honey. Yes, they are at the nine of pentacles. Money and possessions are safe. If you are cautious and disciplined, watch out. What says why? I can't even read y'all. I need my glasses. I'm going to give you some glasses today. Rely on your own instincts and research. Do not trust financial advisors. You come into a large sum of money, possible inheritance or lottery winnings, investments pay off. So Gemini, you think several things have happened for you, baby. Um, or, or the cross watcher, the cross watcher, you could be an earth sign, okay? You don't have to be, but whatever zodiac sign you are, you are in a nine of pentacles energy, so you possibly... Have invested. Let me try and pick this card up. It's so slippery. You've invested whatever your investments. Did, what else? I can't even talk. Whatever you invested in, that shit paid off. You probably got a windfall, a lottery windfall, an inheritance, or some payoff of investments that you invested in. Now this Queen of Pentacles or mother figure or friend or whoever I heard on T for some of y'all, they tried to cause some. They put themselves in competition with you. And whoever this masculine energy is. They could have Earth in their chart. I'm hearing Taurus, okay? This Gemini could have Taurus in their chart. This lower vibrational Gemini. Mm -hmm. And they could have, yeah, they're very greedy and very smuggy. Okay, they were smug when they did this. Well, that's a lot of energy going on. But then somebody got pregnant. And then that was a secret or somebody secretly got pregnant. But then there was a tower because they found out that this baby, child, this is too much. Somebody... Mixed fluids and juices with somebody or got pregnant by somebody. This Capricorn got pregnant and didn't nobody know who the baby was or somebody figured out who the baby was. And when they figured out who the baby daddy was, that shit was heartbroken. This person was heartbroken. Okay. And yeah. So somebody, okay, for some of you guys, the reason, I'm getting some weird shit now. This Capricorn energy got pregnant from, I don't know, somebody, either a fire sign, air sign, water sign. They didn't know who the baby was or she didn't know who the baby was. So she had an abortion, okay? She aborted the baby because they didn't know. She kind of knew the timing wasn't right with the children or that when, by the time she got pregnant. So when she gave news to this air sign, he was, I don't know, somebody was devastated or somebody was cheat on somebody they didn't know this is to me is i don't know who the baby daddy is because if there's a third party but somebody was they could i mean we don't know okay this is the seed this is a new beginning but this is somebody having sex in a third party and got pregnant and it was revealed that um well she realized that maybe it wasn't the air signs baby or it wasn't the fire signs baby and then so they had an abortion period Ooh, damn. Ooh, Gemini, that's a lot right there. So, that's the truth, though. That is the Ace of Swords right there. So, now the same-ass sad energy. 
wants to come back and balance things out with you, but they still toxic. Okay? They want to make a solid offer with this Page of Pentacles. They want to signify, oh, this is a male under 30 who is high-spirited, engaging, and optimistic. But I'm not getting that from this energy. What I'm getting, he's in reverse low key. Let me see what this reverse say. Denotes a male under 30 who is shy and self-involved. This person may embrace new ideas or trends. He is somewhat materialistic and makes rash decisions. He is prone to making mistakes and argues over minor points. He is neither trustworthy or respected. He will pass through your life without changing. This is who that energy is. Who this is this 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 two of pentacles right here? That's an imbalanced person that I told your ass not to travel away from or to go no on no trips with because they're imbalanced right now. They're coming to you because you're the nine of pentacles, whoever you are. You shining and you glowing, you like Beyonce right now, and this person is scared, or they've been working in secret, they're scared and they're afraid that maybe you know that they've been working in secret with a third party energy behind your back because they are petty, and this person made a rash decision too quick because this, like I said, this is an immature energy. So they could be over 30, they could be 50 or 60. But they act like they're under 30, like a tweet, uh, like a teenager. They're very over-emotional, but this person wants to come in like they're solid and make an offer towards you, Gemini. The King of Wands, I don't know. There could be a King of Wands somewhere in the background wanting to take charge and move forward towards you, Gemini. Magician right there. High Priestess and move forward with you. Okay, so this person could either have fire in their chart. They could be a Sagittarius. Is heavy up here with this King of Wands and um, Temperance Angel. So the Sagittarius could be with a Capricorn, this devil energy, or somebody that's very toxic and low vibrational. They done chain this damn Sagittarius up or Aries or Leo up. Child, do some magic. Oh, so this Queen of Pentacles is a um, high priestess who does sex magic and traps menses. Okay? Mm-hmm. So this Aries or Sagittarius or Leo was under some type of toxic person. Um, what is this devil? Beware someone tries to control you. So this Capricorn is very controlling, denotes a greedy, materialistic, selfish person, disregards with others or disregards for others. Beware of someone who tries to control you. You are caught up in an unhealthy situation. The card of the sexual perversity and dark secrets. Sex addiction, overspending, substance abuse, compulsions judged by people, their values, and their, their outside appearances. So this is a low vibrational Capricorn, low vibrational energy, or a low vibrational fire sign. They, they marry... They married this person, though. But I feel like whoever they marry wants to come and balance things out with you, Gemini. Yeah. They found out that whoever this toxic, low vibrational person either. They, they found out. Okay, so if they're married, this husband got burnt by his wife because his wife was a whore. A Jezebella. Okay? She was a Jezebel with her legs open, toxic, connecting, stroking wands, riding wands, all of that. Or take the mail, however it go. Okay? He, found, he caught her. He caught her, or he's having an affair, or riding the wand of this, uh, whoever this man is. It was a Gemini, okay? The Queen of Pentacles rushed towards a Gemini, or a Gemini rushed towards a fire sign, or something like that. Just however it go, okay? And they thought they were going to be successful, but they ended up stuck like Chuck, okay? So now somebody's all in their head and everything. So what had happened, spirit? Emperor, Empress. So either Aries. Mm, that's the truth. So somebody's figuring out, okay, what's the Empress, Holy Spirit? Okay, because the Queen of Wands didn't show up right now. So the Queen of Wands then did some work on an Empress energy. Yeah, but somebody's in love with this. Oh, damn, somebody in love with the Empress. So the Emperor is up here. The Emperor is obsessed. A cat, uh, either a Capricorn. Or an Aries energy is obsessed with this Libra or Virgo energy, okay? They think this bitch is on, they, they, they think they, they hot, they sexy, they magical, 
They're everything. They're the truth. Whoever this, whoever you are, Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher. That's how I feel. Whoever you are, Watcher, I'm going to just say Watcher. But everybody's watching this not high vibe, so I have to distinguish, like, okay, so whoever this beautiful earth angel, glowing mother, like, like, somebody want to have a family with you, Gemini. They want to have sex with you, okay? This emperor do, or either this, you got too many people up here that want to lay down with you, Gemini. Whoever you are, the empress, whoever the empress is, whoever keeps her legs closed, <laughs> look at this beauty, whoever keeps their legs closed. This is who this King of Wands, this Emperor, this King of Cups, or this Gemini want to be with. They want to work it out with you because you love yourself. You have a lot of self-love for yourself. Yeah, this, these men want to love you. They want to be your husband. Okay, yeah, they do. Look, but you blocking. you like, ah, uh, no. Whoever this Empress is, they blocking all kind of... Because you know people doing math. So these people are... Okay. For some of y'all, I got a male coven doing magic on you. They doing sex magic to bring you back to this emperor or back, bring back to them. I don't know. There's magic going on on an empress energy because an empress is self-sufficient, abundant. You're somebody's everything or you're these people's everything. You got a queen of wands with her legs open. That's the truth, honey. Her coochie's the coochie of death. Lord Jesus. And somebody in their head because they done laid down with the coochie of death. And now they feel uh, they feel backstabbed and betrayed. And they regret that they laid down with the coochie of death. And they wish they would have rejected that coochie of death offer. Y'all look. Okay, but I didn't see it because the bitch looked good. Oh, that's exactly what had happened. But now, okay, they feel like the wounded warrior. Okay, I'm going to put some of these cards up. I had to get all of that out of that, y'all. For real. So now this King of Pentacles, there's an Earth sign wanting to fight for you now too, Gemini. Are they fighting? Who are they fighting for? They fighting for you. Mm-hmm. So what else, Holy Spirit? So is this seems like somebody want to come back to you, Gemini. You're in this beautiful state. Yeah, they're in, and somebody's really, but they don't, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to come back to you because they ultimately betrayed you to the 10th power times 20. And they're all in their head about it. This is a Gemini. So that's why I'm saying a Gemini is all in their head because of a backstab and betrayal. Also, not only did they backstab and betray you, they they got with a queen of wands who, was the, who had the coochie of death. Okay? They got with, or, or the king, or however you go. So they got with somebody that has some genitals in de of death, okay? And they got together, was celebrating, was mad, probably a night of drinking. I don't know. They upset about this. And they're also devastated that they cannot reconcile with you because they really want to come together. Or they're upset that they even went to this party that they were invited to. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. And now so, whoever they are, they're having nostalgic memories and they're under judgment right now because they have endings in their life because whatever they thought was 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 green, that shit was actually an illusion because they got signs and synchronicities from the universe, from God, to walk away from this shit because it was, they, but they was petty. They wanted to win at all costs, but it was an instant defeat. And now they mad about it. Angry at a queen of swords. The upright or the king of swords. However this goes, they angry. And your backs are turned. You're not even talking to this person, whoever you are, high vibe. Your back is turned towards this king of swords. The truth is revealed. They want to speak something to you, but they don't know how to tell you. Because they shit is fucked up. They possibly, look at they shit. Look, 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 look. For some of them, they got polyps. They got, they got an ugly penis now. Their shit is all bumped up and they don't know how to, I mean, it. I'm telling you, this is this, this is some shit, okay? It really is. And now they're stuck right here. I know. It's crazy, right? Yeah. That's what Spirit wanted me to tell you guys. That's what this person is going through. They're not going to tell you any of this. But the thing is, you just need to move on and take a leap of faith in God. Don't worry about this and this whole situation. And I feel like you don't. But God just do want to let you know that these people are stuck right now. They are stuck and they're changing their perception. Yeah, because look at them. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, but I didn't. You got, the lesson of this story is to watch how you move. Don't do shit petty. Stop trying to hurt people. Stop trying to be sneaky and deceptive. Stop trying to be fucking greedy. 
You know what I mean? It's no God in your life. You know of God, but the, you, 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 uh, this person, uh. So whoever, Gemini, you keep moving forward. Don't even entertain this person. This person had to learn a lesson. They played too damn much. They played with an earth angel. You were offering love. You were offering stability, security. But they didn't want that. They was too selfish or greedy or lustful. You know what I mean? They're too petty. I heard a petty argument broke out or something like that. Something stupid was said and this person took it to heart. But anyway, they wanted to get justice and be, by being smug, by going off and being with somebody else's husband or wife. And then they ended up getting burnt. So anyway, also I'm getting to say all of this, to say that, to say this, to say that. Okay, um, you have an Aries energy, a fire sign, or they could have somebody with fire in their chart. One of the third party energies, and I think I picked this up in another reading though too. One of the third party energies want to get with you, and it's not the it's not crusty, it's another crusty. But then mm, spirit say, well, he not that he or she not that crust. I don't know. Everybody crusty, Gemini, okay? <laughs> for at this point, Gemini, everybody's crusty except for you. Okay, uh, that's any zodiac sign, okay, baby? So just because I say Gemini, everybody's crusty except for you. There's some crusty ass, low vibrational Geminis that are in the Nine of Swords as we speak right now because of this backstabbing betrayal, because you possibly know. Or they possibly had a baby that wasn't theirs. And because somebody got rid of a baby. And on top of that, they didn't even have the baby and they possibly got some kind of, I don't know, they got something, or somebody got something that's, and they're stuck. I can't make it up. They're at the three of wands right now. What does this say? Through careful planning, a goal or project long in your dreams will be re realized. So this person just had a realization about this pregnancy or about this person or individual that was just trying to put them in competition to keep them away from you for them to reject you. Oh, that's a lot, Gemini. So I don't know. We're going to pray for these people because you're in a good spot, Gemini. How does Gemini feel? Where Gemini, what energy is Gemini high by then? Oh, Gemini, what? Are you heavily burnt? Oh, well, I did say Gemini, but then I said high vibe. Some of you guys are in the nine of cups right now. You're getting new beginnings and you're moving forward. You're, yeah, you're about to meet your two of cups, your soulmate. But whoever did this energy that backstabbed and betrayed this queen of swords or king of swords... Your ass is the wounded warrior because of this third party interference. And now you're heavily burdened because you possibly trapped yourself with the devil with some type of illness or disease. I don't know. And now you angry and you mad because you realize that that shit was built on false. A lie. Yeah, now you scared. This king of wands. Oh, so now you scared because whoever you all. Oh, this is this is some weird shit, y'all. Listen, whoever this, um, whoever... Okay, the, this queen of um, pentacles energy that got with this air sign or fire sign or whatever, they were married to an Aries or fire sign or king of pentacles energy. Somebody that was solid, a business owner, stable, self-sufficient, abundant. This same energy is wants to come towards you because they see that you're the real deal. Like you can kind of balance them out or something like that, Gemini, and they have emotions for you or this... Capricorn, be careful because this Aries energy or devil energy or king of pentacles, they might want to use you to make this Capricorn jealous and angry, okay? Because they're, so I guess whoever you used to be with, high vibe cross watcher, they got with, so this could be a friend circle with this three of cups energy. They could, you, they could have been a part of a friend circle that you broke away from. Somebody cheated on somebody and one of their spouses wants to come to you now. That's some weird shit now. I had some, oh, yeah, they want to come and heal and make you the queen of pentacles and collaborate with you. Oh, Lord, Gemini, please hold back from this Aries energy. Okay, yeah, you are the empress, but they want to have, mm -mm, Gemini, no. Keep your energy cleansed and pure. Okay, I'm going to end it right there because this is just too messy right here. I don't know what the hell is going on, but there's a lot going on. So don't take nobody back from the past because they're petty, they're mad, they might want to, they're imbalanced in their mind. You're not taking them back, okay? They've been calling you because I'm keeping getting that Michael Jackson's butterflies. Somebody probably got butterflies and when they think about you or want to reach out and call you. 
And all you got to do is not answer their calls when they're trying to get through. So now they're angry and mad. And if you're not going to cooperate, they want to win at all costs. And they want to they want to take you away, Gemini, and steal you. So that's why I say stay the what stay away. And then you got somebody else, his spouse or ex-spouse, that wants to get payback because they were caught up in a third-party situation. Okay, so they want to get this person back. And you ain't got time for that shit. That's all petty. So, Gemini, that's me in your reading, baby. I love you. I love you. Happy New Year's to everybody. I know it's not New Year's at this time, but it'll be New Year's when? What, tomorrow or the next day or whatever? So, Happy New Year's to everybody. I love you. Bye.